All right, hey, it's Space Word Bird. Uh, welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, playing some video games today. Today, of course, we're playing some NBA 2K19, playing some My Team and checking out these new fan favorites. Yeah, these packs released on Friday. Uh, and in these packs, some new content. Yes, it's late July. Uh, the cards we got a Galaxy Opal Kristaps, Galaxy Opal Danny Granger, Galaxy Opal AK47, and a Galaxy Opal Minute. Absolutely love that they gave Minute a Galaxy Opal and Isaac Bonga a Pink Diamond. Uh, the other cards, I understand the why behind 2K released uh, these cards as galaxy opals they're definitely cool and all and definitely fan favorites well maybe with the exception of chris stops this season are kind of sucked uh, but these galaxy opals are all priced right in auction which means the packs are juiced i would not recommend opening packs pretty expensive just tighten up your collection and buy the cards with mt now pricing on them uh chris stops and ak-47 are around 75 to 80k uh danny granger got mine for around 40 000 mt thought that was a good deal and minute is definitely budget priced and of these cards i think kirilenko and granger definitely have game breaking potential however how many versions of these cards do we really need yeah, Chris Ops has a ruby, an amethyst, a diamond, and a pink diamond already. And Granger, a diamond and pink diamond. And Kirilenko, uh, a diamond collection reward card, which was really cool at the beginning of the season. And then just recently got an updated pink diamond. Yeah, this late in the season, come up with some creative new cards instead of giving us the same multiple versions of high rated cards. That's why I was so fired up to find the tokens, uh, the 750, to get that Galaxy Opal Brian Scalabrini. Yeah, the goat, the white mamba. This card totally unique to the game. And yeah, these fan favorite packs are cool, but they feel a little uninspired. And that got us thinking. We threw this question out to you on Twitter. By the way, here's where you can find us on Twitter, at Bird2SpaceWord. Make sure you give us a follow. Oh, and while you're at it, make sure you hit the like button right now for this video. We really appreciate that. It tells us to keep making more YouTube videos. Yeah, the question was, what cards did my team forget to add to the fan favorite packs? Party Pete and I came up with our list. Ruby Thon Maker. Yes, this card is still incredible. Still like to run this card. Uh, I've got one in my collection that's badged up and has a diamond shoe. Thon can speed boost and can literally do everything and he's seven foot one. Yeah, run him at all five positions. In triple threat, he is a God. Find this card in auction for around 4,000 MT. Another God like Ruby, Jonathan Isaac. His highest rated card was a throwback elite Ruby. And this card is still an absolute budget beast. And this card, no question, was a fan favorite this season. Fun to run a 610 small forward with a 95 driving and contact dunk, 90 vert, 85 open shot three, 86 ball control so he can speed boost with no shoe needed. 85 speed so he can get up and down the court. Super low intangibles if you look at that. And good defensive ratings. Now another 610 small forward that was God like at the uh, for the first half of the season was Hito. A yeah, small forward with 6'10 height that was lights out with that base 11 shot release. Cheesy two off dribble. And there's no question this card at one time was a fan favorite. Of course, 2K changed the cards. Jump shot, still a good card. Diamond's pretty nice. You can find this for around five to 6,000 MT in auction. Would have been very cool to see 2K make this card a Galaxy Opal since it was clearly a fan favorite. The Morris Peterson, no question, one of my favorite cards for the first part of the season. Yeah, the Emerald and the Ruby. The jump shot was easy to green. The Emerald, I ran through all three Doms early. Now we did get an updated Diamond late uh, in the token reward market, but really what diamonds have value. Would have been cool to see uh, this card get a Galaxy Opal to close out the season, just because I feel this card too was a fan favorite. Now for just personal selfish reasons, Gerald Green. If you play my team and have some history with the game mode, Gerald Green is always a fan favorite. And his highest rated card this season was only a ruby. Disappointing. And to be honest, this card is just okay. Nothing special. Does all right when you get his takeover lit. Still not the same. Give us a Galaxy Opal Gerald Green, please, to close out the season. How about Big Country Bryant Reeves? Yeah, ran this card at the start of the season and was surprised to see that his highest rated card would just be that ruby. Again, we like unique cards, not six to eight versions of the same card. So while you're at it, give us a Galaxy Opal Campy Russell or Bingo Smith or Truck Robinson. I have no idea who these guys are, but again, it keeps lineups fresh. Now, community response, uh, throwing this question out to you on Twitter and a card, yeah, we forgot to add to our list. Mo Bamba absolutely would have been amazing with that seven foot 10 wingspan. And the highest rated version we got of this card this season was a, a ruby throwback elite, which is also still viable to run in triple threat. Fast with that 88 speed, 95 standing dunk, 87 three ball with a smooth shot release. Now, I would not recommend uh, trying to make any plays with the card with that 46 ball control and 39 speed with ball, but a Galaxy Opal Mobamba could have been game breaking. Can you imagine? Also got a suggestion for Boban to be added to the list. Absolutely. Can you imagine a premium set that included Boban, Mirasan, Manute, Sean Bradley, Mark Eaton, Ralph Sampson, all seven foot four or taller. And while you're at it, bring back Simbular to the game. I don't care what it's going to cost. Sim was a god. Now, speaking of other fun cards that uh, we always look for uh, every season we play my team, uh, we love Terrence Ross, Zach Levine, Deion Waiters, Michael Beasley. These are all fun cards because they're balanced. Good outside scoring, slashers with flashy dunk animations, always fun cards to run. Now, Dwayne Wade, not sure why he did not get a Galaxy Opal this season. Would have been a nice tribute to the uh, future Hall of Fame legend to get one to close out the season. Give us a D. Wade Galaxy Opal 2K. Now, uh, Danny Green from the Raptors, uh, yeah, his card is always nice. You're sharp. And with the Raptors winning the championship, 
Chip, uh, I guess why not make everyone on the squad a Galaxy Apple, even Jeremy Lin. Now, Eddie Jones, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Eddie Jones got an updated diamond in the token reward market, but Eddie Jones uh, every season is one of those cards that we seek out because, yes, he is always that good. Uh, me, I ran the ruby uh, from the token reward market early in the season. Yeah, there were a bunch of ruby fan favorites in the token market to start up the season, which was very cool. Cards like Isaiah Ryder, Thunder Dan, Money Mitch. Would have been cool to see all these cards get Galaxy Opals. Spencer Dinwiddie, um, let me think about that. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I will say this, though. I do feel 2K missed the boat with moments cards this season. Now, I did like how they were, uh, for a limited time only, that they were retired, that they were not available all season. But come on, moments cards are a chance to give the community uh, boosted cards from their favorite teams. I am still scratching my head over the lack of Bucks moments cards. It would have absolutely killed for a moments Pat Connaughton this season. Give me a Planet Pat card, please. Had the most wins during the regular season, but only got a handful of moments cards. Then take the dumpster fire that's the New York Knicks, and 2K was raining their moments cards. Now, Kiki Vandaway, absolutely uh, this card got a ton of run uh, on both Pete and my squads this season. Now, Kiki had that quick shot release, good playmaking and finishing, and this card held its value too for quite a while uh, in auction while other cards were losing value. Would have been cool to see uh, a game-breaking Galaxy Opal Kiki Vandaway to close out the season since Kiki's highest rated card was uh, only a diamond. Now, Thurl Bailey, a ruby budget beast, and again, another card that's still viable to run, at least in triple threat lineups. Yeah, I dismissed this card early when I first saw it. I'm like, really, Thurl Bailey? But then I kept running into it in triple threat and then discovered the card's greatness. Good outside scoring, ridiculous finishing, and his Shot release, yeah, it's quick. It feels like a shooting guard. A six foot eleven, pure sharp. Ruby Gerald Wallace, yes, agree with this. Uh, the Ruby throwback uh, early got a ton of run uh, on my lineup. Yeah, great defense, good outside scoring and finishing. It'd been cool to see Gerald Wallace get a Galaxy Opal. Darius Miles, of course. How could we forget He's running this card today in uh, Triple Threat? This card was nuts. Crazy dunk animations. Good outside scoring. Ruby Steven Jackson, another one we agree with. But there were several Ruby throwbacks uh, that had value in both Triple Threat and Unlimited lineups uh, early in the season. Let's not forget Tyson Chandler. Love that card too. Jason Richardson, another card that's always fun to run every year in my team. His highest rated card was only an Amethyst this season. The 2K17, there was an Amethyst reward, Jason Richardson, that I ran a ton in Blacktop. The Emerald I ran uh, early in the season, that was from the Throwback Hornet set. Good outside scoring, uh, ridiculous finishing dunk animations. A Galaxy Opal Jason Richardson also would have been fun to see in these fan favorite packs. So uh, our finalized uh, Hey 2K, You Forgot These Fan Favorites uh, list. Here is our official rundown. Give us the following Galaxy Opals. Don Maker. Hito, Jonathan Isaac, Morris Peterson, Big Country, Gerald Green, Mo Bamba, Thurl Bailey, Kiki Vandaway, Gerald Wallace, Darius Miles, Steven Jackson, Jason Richardson, and finally a Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. Be a nice send-off tribute to one of the greatest players of all time. Show some respect to D. Wade and the community. Now, that's our list. Uh, leave your fan favorites in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. We've got another vid in the works where we run some of these new fan favorites in Triple Threat and we destroy the Triple Threat courts with them. Uh, you want to see that video tonight? Uh, make sure you hit that like button, 300 likes, and I make sure it happens. Oh, and subscribe so you're checking out that next vid. For Party Pete, this is Space. We hope that we are your fan favorite. We're out.